Hey guys, Stack here. Welcome back to a brand new FIFA 20 video. Today's video, Foot Birthday, is finally out. We've been waiting for it. It was supposed to be out a couple of weeks ago or even a week ago. But finally they've released it and there are some amazing cards in it. That 94 Mbappe, I think it is, with a 5-star, five 5-star. Five but this guy, as you see in my team right now, Marcus Rashford. 5-star, five 5-star. Five star. Finally a usable card that I can try. I've wanted to use Rashford ever since I tried my f uh, Future Stars Mason Greenwood. I absolutely loved Greenwood's card. I didn't really like the links I had around him eventually, so I did end up switching and getting myself a prime Thierry Henry. Now, what you got to remember, on the last couple of FIFAs, Thierry Henry's prime card was unstoppable. He was so fast, his dribbling was good, and he scored literally everything. He is basically the same on this game, but he just doesn't have... It's the same as Ronaldo. He's sort of hard to make a chance, but if he gets that chance, he's going to score it. And I thought to myself, well, Greenwood was that player for me as well. So I thought, for the price, I may as well get my Greenwood back. So I sold a lot of my players. I, I sold my Thierry Henry. I sold my JJ Okocha. Um, I sold a few. I, I ransacked my club of silver players uh, and bronze players. For some reason, Irish players are selling for like 13, 14K. So I sold literally loads of them that I had in my club that I didn't know were there. And I had easily enough for this and leftover. As soon as I, like I was, I, I wasn't actually set on buying Rashford. I was going to get someone else first, and then I realised Rashford now has five star weak foot. So I thought I have to put this guy in the team, and I can tell you, he is the best card I have used yet. I was going to play him as a cam with Greenwood in striker again, but I cannot leave Marcus Rashford out of that striker position. He is so good and so clinical when you get chances. And there's a lot of cards that get these like weak foot or skill move upgrades. Like you'll get, you'll see the defenders with five star skill moves. If you try them, yeah, they've got five star skill moves, but they don't feel like it. They feel trash on the ball. And that's what you'd expect. I mean, in the end, he's a centre back and his dribbling hasn't really been improved too much to, to make them five star skill moves feel fluid. There's some players that have the five-star weak foot that just do not feel right. And it's sort of like Ertzil. I love Ertzil's left foot on his uh, on his foot birthday card. It's incredible. But his right foot for me, he just doesn't hit it right. It's, it still feels to me like he's got that same three-star, two-star, three-star weak foot. But Rashford is unbelievably good this guy you cannot take the ball off him i just walk through players consistently every single game i will have two or three dribbles where even if i get tackled i win the ball back with him and now he doesn't have a lot of assists for me in i think at the moment he's got five games 12 goals and only one assist that's not the most considering i've got quite a pacey attacking team but he does finish most of his chances that I get with him. The reason he only has one assist for me is, I don't know, maybe I'm playing it through. He's normally laying the through ball to maybe James, who's running in and then cuts it back to Greenwood. He does get involved in every single attack. You'll notice in every single attack that I have, he's always in a great position. He's the one laying it off or he's the one feeding it out wide and then the ball comes in even though he doesn't directly get the goal involvement he is involved in the build-up his movement is amazing he's got finally got a good uh dab rating that dribbling uh agility and balance it's finally good enough to use i never liked his inform i missed out on his footmas card which i was devastated because of the price there was no way i was going to pay that at the time uh, as I don't put money in this game it's not worth it to me because I, I know there's eventually going to be better cards so I may as well just hold off and wait for these cards like this I've now saved up enough to have some decent cards I have a lot of very good untradeable cards but yeah I, to be honest when I first saw this Rashford I didn't think I'd be able to afford him and I think he is for what he does I actually think he's underpriced at 1.7 now, when I say underpriced, I paid 2.3 for Henri, who was averaging a goal a game. I paid, I think I think you can get Ronaldo for 700, who I averaged just under 
a goal a game. Rashford at the moment is averaging over two goals a game. He is 1.7, but on the other hand, that's two goals every single game. And in one of them five games, I think it was the very first game, I got a disconnect at the start of the game when I went 1-0 up with Rashford. So he scored in the first two minutes, the guy rage quit. There's a lot of game time. This guy has just consistently proved that he is, for me, my new striker. I can't wait to use him in Foot Champions. I only played the final two games of Foot Champions with him. My Thierry Henry managed to save me and finally get me into gold. I just had a bad start to the weekend league. Couldn't find a formation until I finally went on a winning streak. Henri was clinical, scoring every single game. And then I rewarded him by selling him and getting this Marcus Rashford because I was too excited when I saw his price. The best thing about this Rashford card is the links you can get. You've got a perfect link with Greenwood. You've got a very good link with Hammers on the right. I mean, I know he's called Daniel James, but I like to call him Hammers just because of the, the absolute skill that he puts out. Them two, to, for me, Greenwood is a meta player. I know his dribbling doesn't... doesn't uh, Say he's supposed to be that good, but trust me, this guy weaves through players. Still one of my favourite strikers. Rashford, I'm telling you now, he is meta. He is a meta striker, meta cam. Five star, five star, the pace, dribbling, shooting, passing. He has everything and he's got stamina to last the full game. James, for me, still a meta winger. The only downside to the team, I couldn't find a left winger that I liked in the Premier League. But one thing I did like after I realised I could do it, I can play Kent. Finally with an icon and Rashford, or you can even put Greenwood in that centre mid spot for the start of the game. You can finally get full chemistry for Kent, in my opinion, in what is the best way to do it. Without having to make substitutions for attackers, you've already got four amazing players on the pitch. If you've got that Kent and James... All you need is Greenwood Rashford and you have an incredible starting lineup. Three five-star weak foot, three players over 95 pace. It's a blistering counter-attacking team, but not just that, it's a skillful dribbling team as well. The amount of times I just slowly walk up through the middle, I play a ball out wide, drag one defender out, and then I'm weaving through his defenders with one of my attackers. Such a fun team to use and to be honest, I don't know when I'm going to be trying a new team. This card is so fun. There is another card that I will probably use my funds from a Akotcha to buy. After selling a Akotcha, I maybe had 450 to 500k, I think, I think, left. So I will be going for a player. I really want to try that Kai Havertz card. Mainly because this guy that I'm playing in right now smashed me with Havertz in the game. I, I, I honestly had a, a tough time stopping his Kai Havertz and he only had uh, I think an 87 or an 88 one so when I was doing the the uh, challenges to get the Bundesliga Bellarabi the the foot birthday Bellarabi one of the requirements is to like with a Bundesliga player so I actually got an 85 rated Kai Havertz and he was one of the best cards I've used in that camp position so I may be getting myself a Kai Havertz as a super sub but the way it stands I don't know who I'm going to take off for him because obviously James is amazing on the wing Kent is amazing on the wing Greenwood is playing unbelievably in in cam for me I, I mean I'm not too sure what that touch us back to Rashford believe it or not that was a shot which he miss, miss hit back to Rashford but and on the other hand Rashford is just I'll never sub him off. He will play the start to finish every single game because of how clinical he is. So I would really love to try this Kai Havertz card, but I don't know where I'm going to fit him in my team right now. He is He's just too fun to use. For 1.7 million for Rashford and then 700k for Greenwood, trust me, if you've got the coins, if you can afford it, it's worth the risk to try. They're better than Neymar and Mbappe. I do have a Mbappe on the bench. They are too fun. These, these cards are way too good to miss out. 
I hope you enjoyed this video guys please give it a thumbs up if you did and also make sure to subscribe if you're new I will be posting more FIFA videos soon but for now I'm out